Good morning, afternoon, or night, whenever you are current watching this video. Today in Fusion 360, we'll be making this lovely five legged stool. And I'll be going through all the steps on how to make this in Fusion 360. Without further ado, let's open up a new design and get straight into it. First things we need to do is we need to make a sketch. Like to home our sketch and get straight on, center point. And then let's make a rectangle slightly off center. So we want to get a line. The shortcut for that is L. And we want to come roughly 20 mil off the center point line. And then click tick. Then we want a rectangle. So that's that one up there. Uh, shortcut key for that is R. And we want to make a 20 by 15 mil rectangle and then click yeah. then we want to click the rectangle and extrude it we want to extrude it out by about five mil and then we want to do the same on both sides now on this face we then want to do another sketch so you click face and click your sketch icon then you want to do L again for the line and you want to zoom in till you get the four, you get the three and all these extra ones. Then you want to go from this dot down here up to the corner, then all the way down to the bottom of the rectangle up to this line. And then you want to come from this corner to there, 15 mil across. Then from this bottom corner down here, all the way up to that dot we just made. And from there, we want to go from the corner all the way down to the other corner again. Then click Finish Sketch. Now you want to click, uh, we want to do an extrude. We want to click both halves and drag it completely through the model and click Enter. So now we can see that We've got a model, however, if we look at it from square on, the top of it is a rectangular shape. We don't want that. So we want to come back here to our original extrude. We want to edit the feature. And I'm going to edit it to be 2.5 on each side. A tick. And if you've got a perfect square, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now come back down. I'm going to home it. And now what you want to do is you want to click all of our axes. So you want to do a fillet and you want to grab all of the edges. And then we want to drag them in about 2.5 mil. We'll have them that you want. I want mine to be about there. 0.5 mil. So now you want to come up here to bodies, click the arrow next to bodies right up here. Click the body. That'll highlight the whole part. Then you want to go to create and scroll all the way down to pattern and then click circular pattern. Now with this, you then want to come down over here to the axes and click Enter and then choose the axes. In this case, you're going to be the Z axes. Then replicate the legs the amount of times you want. Just like that. Now, if you come here to the top view, you see that we now got our five legs all on our home where we need them to be. So now, if we come to home. We now want to come here to constraints, click offset plane, click this bottom plane and drag it down to wherever you think is about right. So for me, that is about 35 mil right there. And OK. Now that we've got that plane there, you want to click the plane and go to sketch. 
And then you want to come, come down to create, come here to polygon, go to uh, the sur surface centered polygon, click the center origin, and drag your polygon out so that it will click just there. So 29.155 mil out, and then you click tab and change that number to 5. Sometimes you'll have to do a bit of play and error. All the corners are on their respected um, constraint. Then click enter. Then you, with the same thing, you want to come out. You want to do the exact same thing and make it one mil less. So 24 mil. And then, then when I get it sitting right, so about there, then click enter, go finish sketch, then click this. So therefore you then want to click extrude, zoom right in so you can get a good click, click it, so then zoom back out and drag it up. If it wants to do a cut, you've done the right thing. If it, if, if it doesn't do a cut, you've got to go back and readjust. So if I go join, I can see that it's joint in. And we've got these edges. However, these edges, if I just hide my sketches right now, I'd sketch three. Don't let them work. Um, what we want to do is that's too far out for me, so I kind of want to grab the center one and drag it out a bit more. So therefore, come back here to this sketch, right click your sketch, go edit sketch. Then we want to grab this one that's 24 and change it to 26. Then click enter. Now we'll change it so it's the outside. Then repeat the exact same steps again. Keep doing this until you get the uh, bars to where you would like them to be. Bring it up however much you want. I'm going to say 5 mil. Don't forget to make it a join. 5 mil will work with our design we've currently got. Now that we've got that, that is where we're currently up to. It doesn't look like much of a chair. Let's give us a minute. So now what we want to do is we want to come here, create sketch, go to the bottom plane again, go center point circle. So if we, it's just here in circle, center point, um, center circle, uh, shortcut is C. So I'm going to use that and click. So click C. Click the center origin, drag it out however much you want. I mean, it's going to be 60 mil. Then go um, finish sketch. Then we want to click this circle, go extrude, and bring us back to home again. We'll bring it up 5 mil. So you could be done there if you wanted. However, we're not done. So you click your um, that top plane. Go sketch, press center point C again, and bring it out so it's about 55. And then we then go finish sketch. Now you want to click that rim, go extrude that rim, and bring it up about 5 mil, 5 mil, 2.5 mil. Go finish sketch. Now we want to click this inter edge, go fill it, bring it out 2.5 mil. Click and then do the exact same with these other two edges here. Click. Now then give us a nice rounded edge to stool. However, I'm designing this for 3D printing. So I'm going to do another fillet. On this edge, 
drag it in to make it easier to print. So just okay, so I'm going to put that at 15. Right there. And that then should now make that easier to print. So if we come here to our art face, that's then going to be our end product. And you can customize this tool in however which way you like. So in this one, I've made the legs closer together and higher. So therefore, you've got a more, you've got a taller but smaller stool. However, this one, slightly larger and it's more of a kids sitting area so that's going to be it for today if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and i'll have a look at those in in a minute see ya